first thing I want to show you um, is the chords to the little opening lick. Now, I'll teach the opening lick at the, at the very end there, but um, the chords themselves you want to be able to do. So, it starts with an F chord. You can play an F major 7, meaning the open high E in there as well, but basically F, and I go 1 and 2 and... And then we need to play what's called an E flat major chord. It's a challenging bar chord. Um, you could play it as a power chord. You could play um, a D chord up a half step, which will be the easiest thing to do, but you can't play any of the open strings if you do it that way. So it'd be like F, and then a D chord up a half step, and then a G chord. Okay, so that would be the first way. F and two and to G. That's gonna be the easiest way to do it. Um, so once again, the easiest way would be for an F chord, one and two and D up a half step, one strum, G one strum, into where the singing is, okay? So the singing part is going to be C, a C major chord, one and two and three and four and index finger comes off. And this is called a C major seven chord. One and two and three and four and. The next thing you do from there is we're going to take our pinky and we're going to put it on the third fret of the G string, and that's called a C7. Not a C major 7, but a C7. Like that. So here's everything we have so far. F, E flat, G, C major, 3 and 4, and index finger comes off, 2 and 3 and 4 and... We add our pinky to the 3rd fret, index finger comes back on, and 2 an F chord. You could play an F bar chord or a regular F chord right here. One and two and. Then we're going to do a little walk down. F, ring finger on the third fret of the D string and right to the middle finger on the second fret of the D string. To a D major chord or a D7 chord, whichever one you prefer. I'll play a D7 chord, which is like an upside down D chord right here. All right? Here's everything we have so far without me talking. So I just did the D7 chord, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, then I'm going to go to a G chord, and right after I strum the G chord one time, I'm going to play an open A string, so my index finger's off the G chord, and then down onto the second fret of the A string. It's like a little bass note, so it's like, sorry. Now you could just play a G chord. One, two, three, but it's interesting to have that little walk up. 